I'm getting in character. <laughs> he doesn't really grunt. Yes, he does. He's got to. I had the weirdest. That was the most disturbing taste of a burp I just had. What is going on with your body right now? Five seconds ago, you just had the worst Charlie horse in your life, and now you're burping what? I had to get the like? pizza, I guess. Oh, wow. Like the meat. Vitamins? Maybe. Do you think pizzas are vitamins? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Look at my body. Of course. Of course. Of course <laughs> full, of, full of vitamins. I'm the healthiest person alive. Uh, doctor says, I'm as strong as an old horse. <laughs> A near-death horse. I'm trying to get in the mindset of Amleth. Get there. Get there. Get there. Your father was taken from you. No, he was killed. He was killed. Your mother was taken. I will avenge you, father! There we go. I will save you, mother! Get it! I will kill you, Fjord! Ah! 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 Welcome to the show, there. guys. <clears throat> Welcome to the show. That was I'm really dizzy. Scary. Yeah, that was. I got a character, man. That was really good. That was <clears throat> excellent. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hey, welcome to the show, everyone. It's me, Amleth, from uh, the Northmen. Liver King. Liver hey, King. Stay, here, stay primal, my friends. Yeah, and then uh, Fat Thor. Fat Thor. Hey, oh, beautiful, fat, fat, uh, beautiful, <laughs> fat Thor. And the thing is, um, Lily, you decided that you were going to do this costume before you even decided to get pregnant. So this like you just being an, a, like a, uh, what is that kind of acting? A method actor. Method actor. Mm. Yeah. 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 Um, did you know that John in here the other day, he's, I said, I don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween. He said, I thought you were going to be fat Thor. <laughs> and, and I said, I thought you were going to be a fat nope. Thor with no props. Nope. Color me, not. color me insulted. <laughs> Yeah, so obviously Halloween is come and gone by the time this comes out, but we're having a Halloween party at Sunday Cool. In office. It's a, we're it's a blast. We're all dressed up. And, uh, yeah, Jace, brand Jace. manager. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew's back as Jace. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually, like, really disappointed in how few people dressed up. I know. It's okay. We'll try to we'll try to build it up next year. Yeah. We're going to build um, it up. But before we get into it, Oof. there's um, a question. Yep. A question that everyone's been... Um, just wrestling. I know every single person here is just like back and forth on this question. Yeah, I, it's feel, called, I feel it's, like I do this every time, back yeah, and forth. Yeah, it's caused fights within my home. Yeah, in your um, home, I know for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we'll just we'll um, we'll jump straight into it. Mm -hmm. um, today's question is: Are teachers overpaid? Andy. Nope. Oh, oh, that was fast. Oh yeah, so yeah, that was just my gut reaction. Oh okay. yeah. Um, nope. Nope. I actually, for the first time ever, you're kidding. Um, I think that they are not overpaid. Oh, okay. That's right. right? Um, that was right. Right. They're right. not, <laughs> they are, not, they're underpaid. They're underpaid. They're <laughs> underpaid. So whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Andrew, your wife is a teacher. She is. She is. I, I feel like I have some insight into into this topic that a lot of people don't have yeah no. probably different a different viewpoint than we have yeah she's sure. she's been teaching uh in the florida school system for quite a few years and you know when we when she first got hired we felt one way we feel a little different now but mm. we don't feel like she's not underpaid. that was well said mm. uh, i'm still confused me too <laughs> you Lily, should, what do you, you should, think but i'm sure closer too what do you think love I think that teachers are not overpaid. Ooh. To stick with the original question, but you guys should have framed it like, are teachers underpaid? That's easier to answer. So yes. you're saying they are overpaid? They are not. Welcome to the show! <laughs> oh, no. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most <laughs> You learn martial arts. Wow, we are getting in it. Ouch! Really? I don't feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to keep that on the whole time, or do you want to? Should I take it off? No, it's up to you. Because I know it's you. You think it gets hot on your face. I'll take it off when I want to. All right. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, pal. I'm just looking out for hey, my this wife. Is, she's an independent woman. I'm looking out for my wife. All right. <laughs> well, let let her make the decisions. Do you want me to take it off because it's grossing you out? 
There's some weird thoughts in my head. <laughs> <Do> you have, <laughs> are you Why attracted are you? to your wife now? Uh, pass. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Uh, I really do love the Marvel movies, though. So a lot of confusion. Lo- love, and th- love and Thunder was not love that Thunder. good. Was not oh, that good. I liked not that it. Good. She she liked it, and she doesn't like Marvel movies. I don't even like Thor. I did this for Josh. Really? Yeah. Cheers. Yay. Cheers to that. Um, we have a lot to talk about today. So much. A lot has happened. Yeah. A lot has happened. We've since we've had Lily on for sure. We've had it's been a few t- few weeks, so we have a lot to discuss today. What, yeah, a lot of fun what's stuff. happened? I don't really know. We went to Nashville. <laughs> like, we had a Hall- we loop. had a Halloween episode. Um, we yeah. had a dub on here. Yeah, uh, um, just a lot. I guess yeah. just normal things. Have yeah, happened. we're heading into the holiday <laughs> season. I, I'm, are are you are you a Thanksgiving guy? Do you like Thanksgiving? Um, yeah. I think I feel. Like, <laughs> I think I feel. Like, I feel like I like the vibe of Thanksgiving more than the actual holiday itself. You yeah, know, the thing, the thing, I do love getting together with my family. Yeah, but you have a huge family. I just there, there's always just way too much food in my opinion, mm. and I don't, I don't eat a lot in one sitting. And so, yeah, I'm not the Thanksgiving. It's just like eh. my problem is there's a ton of food which I have no problem with. We know that, but a lot, <laughs> but a lot of it is just. Unfortunately, not that good. Yeah, I turkey. Think turkey. I'm sorry, but not everyone in the family should be cooking. Yeah, I'm like, I agree. Some people should just be bringing the women drinks. should be yeah. cooking. Some people should right. just be bringing drinks, drinks, but it's like everyone bring a side. It's like no, you I can don't. What you the say? Role guy. I said the women should just be cooking. See, this is why I glossed over it because that's extremely, extremely. I'm just kidding. I agree. Right oh, with that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> you should uh, keep the beard on. You're fine. Yeah. You're good. You're cool. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're cool. I'm kidding. He's not, though. He's not. <laughs> I know him. He's a good friend of mine, and that is completely the truth, isn't mm. it? No. Tell him all the things that you, uh, you feel that women, what rights do you know that women have that you want to take away? What is that? <laughs> oh, <Go> gosh. Ahead. <laughs> um, all the things. Go ahead. You have a list that you okay, show no, me. Okay, no, but this is a real one. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This brings up a really well, good topic. I was joking, but we're going to go No, for no, it. no. It's not, it's not, well, I guess you could call it uh, women's rights. The fact that the men have to constantly put the toilet seat down. Okay. When we have to pick it up as well. Mm-hmm. And I saw someone talking about this on TikTok That's just a double day. standard, I think. It's just like, we should each have the responsibility of lifting it or putting it down. Not, you can't put it all on the man. We can't be lifting it's, it up yeah, and putting it down all the all time. Hate, hate, let it out, man. I don't get. I don't understand this plight. What do you mean you don't understand it? Do you get upset? Do you get upset when he leaves it up? I fall in the toilet when he leaves it up. So you don't look down where you're sitting. No, I didn't. I don't usually look. She like, does get mad at me though. As, yeah, she's yeah. like, "You left the toilet seat up." Because I, I fall in the toilet, I get my butt wet with gross germ water. Sorry, it's actually pretty clean water. I think. I don't for think the most so. Part. Uh, we don't have one of those um, soap things. Soap thing? Oh, yeah, the little, the little things they hook on the side. I thought you were talking about a bidet. I was just like, that's <laughs> not what a bidet is. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very passionate about that. I just wish, I don't know, yeah. women would just feel inclined to be like, yeah, I'll put the seat down. Yeah, that's just... that's just Because we're looking out for you so we don't go tinkle time on the toilet seat, so we're kind enough to lift it up. And so be kind enough just to put it down. Tinkle Instead time. Of, that was the best way to say it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> tinkle time. <laughs> I imagine that's exactly what he says whenever he's at home. I got to go to tinkle. Oh, it's tinkle time. <laughs> Better with the toilet seat. <laughs> well, what's your tinkle time song? Does he have one? Um, you hum something? Yeah, you sure you do. You sang it to me once before. Go ahead. I used to sing The Ring of Fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, peed. What? Really? I don't I don't know. Did it burn when you peed? Is that a problem? No, I just uh, <laughs> you know, just association. Like yeah. anytime I pee, like uh Johnny Cash, the ring of fire always came in my head. Yeah, like, yeah. I fell into a burning ring. I wonder of if fire. there was a time when you were a kid that you were just like you overheard that song, you, that's the first time you heard it. That wonderful classic Johnny Cash song and then but it was while you're paying and so now it's just a you yeah. just association. Yeah, maybe. Association. <clears throat> I, whenever I actually have a song in my head when I pee too. Oh, what is it? It's Buddy the Elf when he goes um, to the store and he says, I'm in a store and I'm singing. <laughs> Did you say peeing? Pee? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a bathroom and I'm peeing. I'm in a bathroom and I'm peeing. <laughs> I'm in a bathroom and I'm peeing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's how good. it goes. Um, that's chili, for real. The Chili's employee walks in. Hey, sir, please, <laughs> yeah. if you can, people are trying to eat. Thank you so much. 
Uh, you have some questions. Oh yes, that you want to go yeah. over. Listen, I love a um, little the, game, if you will. We're yes. going to play a little game. Yeah, everyone here. Um, I want. I love that we just have are very passionate. Also, I love doing this. Yeah, I, I feel very, very feminine. I love it. What? I, I don't know how. Rushing I don't the locks out of your. It's your face. the worst. I hate wearing wigs. It's just it's giving me a headache because I just feel like I'm being closed in with within walls. It's terrible. You yeah. look like you curled also, your wig. I just hate doing this too. Yeah, it just makes me feel like. <laughs> if you're just listening to the podcast, he's got a very beautiful wig on, and it's very well matched to the color of his beard. Yeah, if you're yeah. not watching on Spotify or YouTube, I don't know what you're doing. You're missing yeah. out on a lot of physical. It kind of looks like my hair a little bit. Yeah, it really does. It actually, yeah, yeah I think actually, that's why we bought it. Right? This is too. Oh yeah, because we have is. two of these. Yeah, that one does too. Did you buy that? Is that a Fat Thor like costume, like yeah. full through? Okay, cool. Right. Is this he what happens it. when you yeah. work with Josh? Is just you slowly start becoming him? <gasps> yep. Look, Look at my down. tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put a little blur thing? Yeah, yeah please just blur yeah. that out. There we go. All right, here we go. Andy was okay. shirtless all day, by the way, but we figured for the podcast, people wouldn't want to be staring at his um, nipples. Yeah. Where's we your chain? A, oh, yeah, my chain's right here. Oh, yeah. And um, we had to go pick up like 27 pizzas for the pizza party today. And I walked in with uh, not a care in the world looking just beeline like this, toward the cashier. And I looked like this. <laughs> And there was a. Um, I was uncomfortable walking in. I'm like, I as soon as we pulled up, it was just filled with a bunch of old people. Just like a group of twenty old, like ninety year old people that are just staring at us. Just yeah. What did you say? Um, throwing daggers at us. Oh yeah. I we walked in. Andy just didn't look at him. I walked in and I immediately looked at everyone. <laughs> and they felt bad. They're looking at me like this. <laughs> like they wanted to hurt us. Get oh out of here. And yeah. I just go Halloween. They're like. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What do you think they were thinking? Get out of know. here, you hippie. That's, it has to be that. Yeah. Oh, look, look. The hippies from the commune are here. I don't know a lot of hippies that have blood on their face and wear a coyote on their head. The you rainbow do, you, people? Then you don't know a hippie. True. The <laughs> rainbow people. The rainbow people Dang. of Lake County are violent. Oh, those wait, are the people wait, wait, that wait, live wait. in the forest? Yeah. yeah. Wait, oh, well, dude, that's scary. I don't know scary. what this is. You I don't, don't know, know what you this don't is. You don't know the rainbow people? No. <sighs> okay. It's kind of folklore a little bit, yeah. yeah but yeah. there are some horror stories. So there's supposedly, not supposedly, there is a group of like hippies that live in the Ocala National Forest um, north of here. What? Live off the land. Live off the land. They're they're like hippie hobos a little bit because they because they they try to get them out of there, but then so they yeah. just keep relocating. Gotcha. But but um, there's just there's a lot of stories of them killing people that venture into the woods. And but they hate people that hunt, and Ocala is known for a lot of yeah. hunting, and people that like ride their motorcycles and stuff. And yeah, people that are loud, like being like just like playing music or anything like yeah. that. They're very hostile toward those. And people so as well. there was this one story. I think I was, I was in middle school or high school, and this kid, these guys were like on their dirt bikes going through the trails and stuff through the forest, and the rainbow people they hung up a, a wire across the trees. Oh my goodness! And it it decapitated the kid. For real, for real, for real. Golly, yeah, we need. And a, we, they don't. They're like, well, we don't know if it was the rainbow people, but someone did that on the dirt bike path. Yeah, and so yeah, because there was a note that hung on the wire that said, um, "By the way, this was definitely not the <laughs> rainbow people." Well, I don't know who it is, and they said it wasn't. Them. It wasn't. Yeah. Well, you guys were our number one suspect, <laughs> but thanks for being honest. <laughs> why? Why are they called the rainbow people? That's just what they go by. Do they or did were they, were they assigned that? Name? Was that a girl yeah. name? What was that like a given name to like for the people who've heard the stories or something? No, I think that's literally what they call themselves. Wow. Hold on, like you, how deep in the Ocala National Forest? Rainbow. I also didn't know that it was the Ocala National. I thought they were here like in Mount Dora. No, no, no. In the yeah, woods. first thing that pops up, rainbow people. They may have Ocala. like several groups. Who knows? But like, yeah, that, they call themselves the Rainbow Family. Mm. Ooh. Uh, welcome <laughs> to the Rainbow Family. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I used to. They used to talk about how, like, um, when one of them would die, they wouldn't. They didn't want to deal with like their body, so they would go run and stash them in a hospital, like prop them up in a chair at their dead friend, and leave them. Just weekend at Bernie's them. You just yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put, put some glasses on them. Just. So if scary. they do have internet and you guys are watching this, Rainbow People uh, family. Um, <laughs> we we these are just stories. You could be really nice people. Yeah, let's do the podcast out in your place. No. Nah. Come on, let's go. <laughs> That'd be fun. 
Let's vlog it. Let's <laughs> yeah. go. All right. All right. We're, let's go back to the game. Okay. We yeah. Got yeah. The game. Side. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know we, how we got there, but all right. So um, the game is the it's you've been seeing it around. I'm sure a ton, but it's the um, overrated, underrated, and perfectly rated. Okay. So you have three choices. I'm going to give you. Um, we have a, f- a big list here, so we don't have to go through all of them. But I'm going to say it, and one by one, you guys can give me your rating and maybe an explanation if we need to. Okay. okay? okay. Ready? Number one: stuffed crust pizza. Oh, um, for me, I think it's perfectly rated. Okay, you can speak for everybody, by the way. I want to. I'm inclined to agree with you, and here's why. Oh, okay. I I'm love not- the idea of a stuffed crust pizza, but yeah. their cheese is like not cheese. It's Wait. kind of it's, it's thick, kind of American, it's a thick, or it's, it's like a, a it's like a mozzarella. It's yeah. like a, it's like literally a whole mozzarella block stick. Of, yeah, yeah, a cheese stick. I love stuffed crust. Yeah. Andrew does not. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, this is definitely, <laughs> I'm just going to like say it's overrated. One, I'm allergic to milk, so I can't eat a stuffed crust pizza, Anything but I feel like that's, overrated. I feel like that's a, an authentic like thing. Like there are people in Italy or wherever, very yeah. proud of their pizza. And then America just took it and we're like, we're going to add more. Yeah. And then yeah. It, I, it probably something. is a slap in the face, like to tra- tra- traditional pizza makers. Um, nah. but the thing is like only the only, only pizza hut does it. Is it, um, yeah. Do they, is ha- it do they have a trademark on stuffed crust pizza? It's possible. No, because who else does it? They have a stuffed crust. That's true. They do. Yeah. You know, I used to know a guy that, up. that was like a food scientist experimenter, uh-huh. and he would sell his ideas to fast food restaurants. He came up with the Oreo dipsticks at um, Burger King. Burger King. Oh wow! Wow. Yeah. I was gonna say, I was like, this, is this guy successful? Because it's like, yeah. just sounds like a. Just some, you know, no, he's guy very that well he was, Yeah, he was super successful. Yeah, he. he I just imagine up, he's in his kitchen, just making. Oh, I'm gonna sell this to yeah. McDonald's one day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, listen, buddy, no one wants this. I present I to would... you goldfish Jello. <laughs> hey, <laughs> take it, take <laughs> it or leave it. <laughs> but I, I, I got other it was offers. The coolest job ever. And so, like, when I was in like the second grade or whatever, I would like make a notebook of like different ideas I had for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. Every nice. time you come up with another food <laughs> idea, that's yeah. great. All right, next one. All right, uh, another food one: sushi. Uh, oh, oh gosh, I don't know. I, in our circle, it's perfectly, perfectly rated, rated, but in the world, I would say it's underrated. I'll tell you when I when I moved here, uh, sushi was not a, like I. Hey, let's go get sushi. It was wacky if you got sushi. It was really? I mean, not wacky, but it was like un, you didn't. It was a not a normal thing. You getting sushi? That's wacky. It was like, <laughs> hey, that's too wacky for us, kid. Get out of here. We got what's fish the, stuff. What's the John C. Riley sushi chef? We got sushi a real chef. sushi chef. Oh, like guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> What, yeah, what is it, Doctor Brule or yeah. something like that? Yeah, I think I think it's underrated. Underrated. I think people don't know what the real thing is. I would say underrated for sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, next, Billie Eilish. Oh. Uh. Oh gosh. I don't, ooh, know. I don't. I don't. Know. I love her, but that, she's very well rated. Oh, so yeah. perfectly, perfectly rated. rated. I would oh. say that. Overrated. Overrated. S- anyone can mumble in falsetto and then I have really good pitch. No, she Stop has, it. She you like really Taylor Swift. I love her How, ask, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift is my wife's thing. <laughs> Billie Eilish says, we put so much effort into making sure everything's right. By the way, my pitch is all natural and I don't, you know, auto-tune anything. Well, if it takes you a million times to get it right and you put so much time then it's not a natural gift. You just spend way too much time like a hermit in your closet. That's like saying, Michael track. Jordan, you're not that good. You practiced a lot of, <laughs> lot, like, for, it, you did a thousand free throws a day. You must have not been that good. Andy, have you ever heard you of and me can, it's practice. You and me can walk into a studio and walk out with something that sounds like Billie Eilish. With, with okay. you singing. Oh, well, then let's do it. I'm, I'm, I'm all about that. I think that. perfectly rated, but some of her stuff does scare me. Like what? Yeah. Just the, what that music the black, video the with, black, like, the black, <laughs> the black eyes and the, yeah. the tears. Yeah. We love that song, but we can't play it when Nate is in the room, the YouTube video, because it's so yeah, scary. Yeah, it's very scary. All right, number four, Stranger Things. Uh, oh, overrated. Overrated. Poor Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just realizing that none of us are real friends, because I feel very differently than every other no, That's what makes here. the friendship great. Yeah. It's, yeah. Gotta, it's be underrated. Different. It might be because you guys are all young. You think it's underrated? In Yo, this, okay, in this room. Oh, no, overall. Oh, over, you're, you're okay. talking, you got to okay. think this overall. Is in society. I'll say, I'll say it's pretty It's pretty accurate. There's absolutely some cheesy stuff in it, yeah. but I, the more I watched it, the more I realized was brilliant the stuff that they're hiding yeah. in it. So we could do a whole episode I th- on what's I th- in th- there. I think the fan base is a little obnoxious, just like that's like the star. <laughs> like, no, no, not so much him because he didn't really shove it down okay. my throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Um, I, I do think it's probably perfectly rated because I think, I know it's well done and everything like that, but 
yeah, the season fans one are obnoxious. Was, season one was lit, and then they just started yeah. jumping the shark and stuff. It's always yeah. like jumping super the simple. Shark. You've yeah. ever heard of that phrase? Is this a real phrase? Yeah. You've never heard that phrase? Really? Yeah, I've heard jump in the ship. Oh, jump in the shark. That's like, because uh, yeah. it, it comes from a Fonzie. It's from like Happy Days. It's like beating um, a dead horse. Like the Walking Dead. They should not have. Beating a dead horse. Wait. Yeah. That's a phrase I've too. I've never heard the that. The phrase either. is, uh, I don't even I'm know what this word is. <laughs> you have? <laughs> you that was good. Yeah. You had to be convinced. That's perfect. Um, okay, number five, charcuterie boards. Overrated. Oh, overrated. Underrated. <laughs> no. yeah. Have you heard that Lunchables are just like kid versions yes. of yes. charcuterie boards? That's why we're so obsessed with them. Yes. Yeah. I love them. Do you remember when Tyler, Tyler is like the most scruffy dude you've ever met in your life? Who, like Tyler Redman works for us. <laughs> There's the um, last name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 don't, I, I know do he it. doesn't care, but I love that. Like, like, she just said Tyler. Like, yeah, Tyler Redmond. It's like a tick for me. Yeah. Like, I have to say their last name. And he was your roommate when we met. Yeah. You guys lived together. Mm -hmm. Um, And he, remember when he would bring in a charcuterie board for lunch every day? Mm. Bougie. Yeah. But he's not one that you would pay for that. He's more of a, a gas station food. Yeah. Kind of. But he's guy. a great chef. That's the yeah. weird he's thing. Great. He's great. Yeah. yeah, he would cook for us when yeah. we lived together. It was awesome. Cook? Do you say chef or cook? Great cook. I think when I think chef is a the profession. Yeah, if you get paid for it, I think you can be a chef. In general, you just say a good cook or a great cook. Yeah, yeah. Andy, all right. Andy yeah. just separated himself from all of us. No, I've been paid like once in my life to cook, maybe <laughs> that's, twice. That's why you but, put but that I'm a on chef. There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I want some like ones that okay we can debate because I know there's there's one in here. Uh, <laughs> New Year's Eve parties. Um, perfectly rated. Okay, we'll yeah. speed, let's speed around it, and then we'll stop yeah. the one if we need to argue. Overrated. Overrated? Why? You don't like to party? No, everyone just <laughs> suffer. All the adults who go to bed at 8 o'clock just suffer for four hours just to say they stayed up. Oh, I, I think guess. The way no, Lily said that. Though. What? You don't like to party? <laughs> <laughs> You're some kind of nerd? <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Yeah, the past, like, two New Year's Eve parties yeah. have been lame. I was full-term pregnant, I feel like, at our last one, and I was like, Ugh. Yeah. I enjoy, the younger I was, the more I enjoyed them. Now yeah. that I'm in my 30s, it's like... That makes sense. Yeah. 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 Bacon. Overrated. 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 Wow. See, we that's, yeah, I, 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 I agree overrated, too. You remember that fascination that, like, millennials yeah. had in their high schools? Like, everything yeah. was bacon and mustaches, like, for some reason? <laughs> that was so dumb. That's that such is a weird funny. Yeah. Nerds. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> they probably don't like to party, either. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, some type of square? Um, <laughs> Chip and Joanna Gaines, Magnolia Farms decorating. Style overrated, overrated, overrated. Oh, I th I think it's overrated, but underrated for sure. You said underrated, underrated. You're lying. I think it's a Midwest thing. No, it's, it's a, a Midwest thing that needs thing. to get that needs to get brought out. All right, she listen, was, I love me some Chip Gaines. No, she was innovative at the beginning, but now she's just following TikTok trends. Like she's doing the thing that you guys, Josh, you've been into like the yellow and green whole thing for a long time and now i'm starting to see that trend oh no way lead into her style she's copying well for me yeah. it, it's such a she's like she's just like more refined hobby lobby you know what i'm saying mm. and what's wrong with that is a cop out it's her not, decoration style is a cop out how dare you there's there's no actual expertise imagine our first i wouldn't say it's a cop out she she is Super smart with like knowing what people would enjoy with the trends. I think so. She's not, very successful not, of like being like the average woman would love. Not the average. I don't, I don't want to say. The I'm average saying, woman, <laughs> you're, saying you're saying people are average. Women. I'm saying she knows her audience. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, fair. yeah. That's fair. She, that's fair. It no, understands her audience. She's not trying to hit on. Yeah, she's the, not. Uh, she's not like going outside group. the realm. Yeah, like she knows the realm exactly. of interior design. It, I feel like it's and this is not to mean being mean to be offensive because i agree i love her style i love i love chipping them yeah um but i do feel like it's like that 35 to 55 age range midwestern or like yeah that's where the where the show is popular where it got really popular but now she's doing a little more hipster stuff okay. too broad in her audience i think i see but um, I, I will acknowledge when i am at target and i pass by the magnolia section yeah my dopamine does spike yeah mm. Yeah, but it's also super you're, you're expensive. You're an average woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like 35, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, and like the, it's not just the design though. Like the the show, I think is underrated. The oh, design yeah. is. Oh yeah, I do love the show. I love the Chip show is too. great. I we love the relationship. 
And two, uh, did you see that meme that came out? Because they were they just did that new special where they decorated the castle. Oh, the shiplap one. Yeah, he said, "If I see any shiplap in this castle, <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's so good." All right, scary movies. Um, overrated. 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 He's just a little. That's baby. a really broad. Yeah. Yeah. All right, brunch. Overrated. Underrated. Overrated. Yeah. Josh, you've never done like a good brunch. I've That's done, the thing. Yeah, I've done plenty of I'm, good brunches. I'm, I'm underrated only because I've never experienced. I'm same thing with charcuterie boards. Haven't experienced a good Did you charcuterie. Say charcuterie? Char- charcuterie. 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 It's C H. So Jump charcuterie. You say char. It's French. Oh, char- char- charcuterie. <laughs> charcuterie. Charcuterie. <laughs> charcuterie board. Yeah, maybe a croissant. And maybe some salami. Some cheese. Ah, uh, some uh, some uh, berries. Ha ha ha! Isn't salami Italian? Get out of here! <laughs> How dare you say that? Uh, I don't know. My, this is, my this palate is knows no bounds. That's also Italian. No borders. I don't know. Is it French? Uh, I don't know if that's true. That Who was knows. impressive. Yeah. Uh, the Beatles. Ooh. Perfectly rated. Yeah. Yeah, perfectly rated. Overrated. <gasps> oh, man. They have some great hits. Overrated. The Wait, Beatles what? are overrated. Uh-oh. Speaking of overrated, underrated, let's talk about something that is perfectly rated. The Sunday. Titan- oh, you are going to say oh. the Titanic. <laughs> the movie or the ship? Oh, both. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Sunday Cool Tease, you silly little oh. goose. <laughs> Move over, Kate Winslet. We got some super soft tease head your way. Who is Kate Winslet? She was in Titanic. Oh. Yeah. Jack. <laughs> hey, oh. Um, hey, guys. It's getting cold outside. We've talked about this before. Ooh, Guess is what? That, is, oh. that, is that an iceberg? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's just the weather oh. this time of year. Hey, guys, uh, fleeceware. Sunday Cool has its own fleeceware now, and we print them, and we send them to you super fast, super efficient. They're super soft and super duper ooper cool. And the next time you're on a big cruise ship heading across the Atlantic, make sure you're wearing one of our water reveal t-shirts, because whenever <laughs> that boat starts sinking, you're going to see another message that you didn't know was there reveal itself. It's going to be pretty great. Right, Jack? Right. I don't know. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a, like, Nailed what is, it. What does Jack talk like? I'm just thinking he's on the door. That was perfect. Um, Sundaycool.com. Go. Phone number? 1-800-865-0726. Boom. <laughs> Add over. Overrated and underrated. Let's get to it. Bucket hats. Wait, no, we have to go back. You just said that the Beatles were um, no, overrated. Let's move on. Yep, yeah, next we'll one. Move on. That's pretty. That's what? pretty self-explanatory. Bucket hats. Uh, overrated. Overrated. Yeah. Underrated. Over. Okay. Over. I think they're perfectly rated. Everyone who's wearing them is confident, and everyone who doesn't want to wear they're them is cool. not going to wear them. Uh, communism. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out how to answer this question. <laughs> um. <laughs> As a whole, um, it has its place. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Communism, I think under the uh, right administration, I would though. say it's a little overrated. A little overrated. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They kind of they kind of stir the pot a little bit. Yeah. Kind yeah, of, starving their people and stuff like that. True. And, yeah. yeah. Overrated. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> underrated. Anyway, um, <laughs> siblings. Siblings. Ooh. Overrated. Or underrated. Perfectly rated. Um. Underrated. Underrated? Yeah, underrated. Yeah. Okay. Underrated. They're built like best friends. Yeah. Okay. Uh, s'mores. Overrated. overrated. Over. Get those right? marshmallows yeah. out of my face. Why have we been living this lie that s'mores have, are good this whole time? Yeah. If they're yeah. so dry. It's like yeah. one of the yeah. only Messy. foods you need a shower after, too. That's true. Yeah. Like, it's it's so bad. They're so bad. Um, Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know how to answer this. What is she in? She gave us where the crawdads sing. Oh, sweetly. She's sweet sold, home she Alabama. Sold the rights. What? Or she wait. No, she didn't write it. She yeah, yeah. She like directed she her it. from her thing. She rated it. <laughs> yeah. What involvement did she have in the movie? Did she like she produce did, it? She like owned the rights to it or something and sold it to the. Because it was part of her company. book club. I don't know yeah, yeah. That, I don't know what that's about. I think oh. that she just reviewed it. She read it and reviewed it, no, and she that's owned how the, it blew she, up. She owned the rights to sell it to uh, a screenplay. Screenplay. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. Oh, the production rights. Yeah. 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 She. It was part of her book. Uh, she has a huge book club. Yeah. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio, overrated, underrated. Um, now, this was before the Titanic joke. He's by overrated. Way, so I don't even know if he's no, that good of an actor. Uh, what? He's an amazing okay. actor. You said you don't know if he's even a good actor. 
That this is what bothers me. The Departed, me. the Aviator. Oh, The Departed. I don't know about the. I don't never seen that movie. Reverent, Reverent, if Revenant. He, if Reven- he does one, Revenant, if he does one good movie that you love, you're like, wow, he's a good actor. Just because he's not a good actor or movies you haven't seen doesn't make him not a good actor. Here's what's what, here, what's eating Gilbert Grape? Amazing, and he was a kid. Okay, so can I just say, obviously. People agree with me because he's only won one Emmy Which his is, whole life. Oh my! What, what, wait, one Emmy? Yeah, that's TV shows. Sh- wait, what is it? Oscars. Oscar. <laughs> a Grammy? <laughs> Leonardo is one of the greatest actors of our time, and when we lose him, we will be so incredibly. I sad. think he's amazing. He's our Robert De Niro. Like he's our like he's insane. Yeah, we, we have Robert De Niro. No, we don't. Not anymore. We have Meet the Fockers. That's a great Meet movie. the parents, Robert De Niro. <laughs> mm. I want Raging Bull De Niro. I mean, he's really okay? good in The Irishman, though. He's very good. Yeah. The CGI that. is terrible, though. Have you seen the CGI? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, he's like, they're like, oh, yeah, he's 25. Like, and he's like, why is he moving like an 84-year-old? Like, <laughs> <'cause, I was laughs> like, it's so I'm bad. so young. <laughs> but all the TikTok filters are 100% better. Yeah. I don't get it. All right. All right. Uh, Patagonia. The brand or yeah. the country? Patagucci. The, the, or uh, the... To be honest, I'm just now learning that Patagonia was a country. Go ahead. Uh, the, apparel, yeah. the apparel is what I meant. Go I don't know if it is it a country. It's in Argentina. Yeah, or is it country. mountains? Yeah, no. Yeah, it's a country. Yeah. Toward, way down toward the bottom. Yeah. Beautiful place. That is underrated. Okay. The clothing line, Par- overrated. <laughs> the country is severely underrated because I didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying overrated on the apparel? The, yeah. Yeah. Also, go ahead. Overrated. Okay. I just want to say this. You know how the the CEO just came out recently. He's like giving away his fortune to Patagonia. Yeah, I heard there was like a huge. Do you know yeah, why he's doing that? Scam. Publicity. He's avoiding paying like hundreds of millions of dollars. I think even potentially billions of dollars in taxes. Wow. And so it's like a giant tax write off, but he still has his whole f- like fortune of like stuff that he owns. But it, but it looks great on paper. Yeah. Wow. And he's he like really he's like giving it to thing. change climate change. Yeah. What are you going to like? There's like real need right yeah. now. Anyways, yeah. I'm very passionate about them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful because some people think that climate change is very important. I think it's it's fine. Like these uh, like climate the, change the perfectly climate rated. I just I, I think I think <laughs> money overrated. should probably uh, you should your money should probably go to helping starving people in all around the world instead of like build yeah. a windmill. But why do we help the people now? We can help the people later. <laughs> Come on. See, that's the mindset. I'm just like, it's so stupid. What about the soup people? The who? Soup people that threw soup at the Van Gogh. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> I don't even care about that. Like, soup people. Because it doesn't damage the paintings. It's, it, they're completely protected. So it's like, oh, you're really? just. Yeah. So like we're giving uh, them publicity for no reason. So like, I just see. keep scrolling with those videos. Oh like, my gosh. Like, I got so hot about it. Well, yeah. It's just like, cool. You're trying to damage uh, amazing art. And why do I want to support your cause now? Thanks, Van Gogh. Here's some tomato soup. <laughs> That's how they talk. I definitely thought when you, the way you said soup people, I thought there was like another <laughs> tribe of people. That's what I thought. <laughs> the I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> the, the rainbow people, the soup people just, just go to war. <laughs> West Side Story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're on the wrong side of the tracks, kid. <laughs> what if there was just like this war we had no idea about just yeah. existing like an hour away? <laughs> Why do my climate change people and those hippie people sound the same? <laughs> hey, kid. <laughs> Why is he selling newspapers from the 1920s? <laughs> All right. Imagine Dragons. This last two. Overrated. Oh, overrated. Over. Perfect. They used to be. Perfect. I say they're underrated because they're now becoming like the the new Nickelback. We're like, it's fun. To, it's fun yeah. to hate. And it's like, stop. You can't just say that they don't make good music. It's amazing. If you hey, haven't they, seen. They make catchy music. Yeah. You like that, Nickelback's music? Yeah, they, 100%. The, you can't, dude, you cannot l- sit there and say there's not one good song they've ever done. I've never heard a good song they've done. It's insane. Also, you is also underrated. said Leonardo DiCaprio is a bad actor, so yeah. I can't trust your opinion Obviously today. Obviously, the Grammy team agrees with me. <laughs> Again, Grammy <it's-> people? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. All right, last one. Salsa. Oh, um, dance or food? The country? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say perfectly rated. Underrated. Underrated. Okay. I'll drink salsa with a straw. <laughs> she was like, fight me. And you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm right there. Perfectly, perfectly rated. Yeah. I would say underrated because like I've, I don't know how many people I've met that just like, oh, hey, here's some homemade salsa. Like whenever I come to our house or yeah. something, it's like, 
No, that should be a common thing that's made every every week in your house. It's are you, so delicious. It, are you having a low key brag right now because you make your own salsa? No, I'm just very passionate about. it. I love eating it. Chef, I don't feel like Chef I make the Andy best salsa. And his own salsa. I don't make Andy, the best salsa. Andy, I love eating people's salsa. Andy does make some of the best salsa. You do. You I, do. I love me some salsa. I'm addicted to it because I feel like it's salsa boy. I'm a little salsa boy. But that's, aye, aye. But that's why I got to. Uh, I got to be dead in the middle though because there are. I've had salsa that just is mind blowing. At like taco trucks, like authentic and you have like stuff. chili salsa. That's exactly. Yeah, and then you're like, water. this is horrible. So I think it's amazing, but there's also stuff out there that should never be called salsa. Yeah, I get okay. that. I get um, that. Here's, I have actually one more. Mm -hmm. Flat Earth. Ooh. Under Flat Earth theory? Yeah. Yeah. I would say. I don't know if it's a theory. I would say it's underrated because I wanted to get more publicity because it's fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I like people arguing about it. It's really funny. So fun fact about me. <laughs> And I think everyone in this room knows this. Um, there was a time in my life, a couple years ago. Don't for, say a couple years ago. It was a couple years ago. It was like it was like I the was beginning he, of I, Sunday Cool. That was yeah. six years ago. I, yeah, that's a couple years ago. I hadn't that's met two, him. That's a few years ago. A couple is two. Okay, <laughs> tomato, tomato. Um, so I, you made me lose my... <laughs> I just don't want you saying at 28 years old, you believed in the flat earth theory. <laughs> yeah. I've gone back and forth. <laughs> just kidding. I never said I was one side or But the there other. was a time in my life, a few years ago, almost said a couple again. <laughs> a long again, time ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, six or so years ago, um, where I believed in the flat earth for about two weeks. That is crazy. And it shook me up. Now, who who presented it to you? Because you were you were saying at the time... And then what convinced it you? was before it got yeah, viral. Yeah. Oh, where did someone I saw? I was like, like what was watching, the switch? It was just, you know, those YouTube rabbit holes you go down. Yeah. I came across one video and the guy's like, why the earth is flat. I'm like, that's weird. Why yeah. would you? I don't understand that. I watched it. and I'm like, oh, my <laughs> goodness. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. And like it so convinced me. And so for two weeks, I was—I thought <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't know what life getting was. So like insane in your room, just getting so intense. Bro, I was calling. I was calling everyone. I had like <laughs> some of my family convinced, <laughs> and like they would come out and be like, "What about this?" I'm like, "This is what. This is why. This is why." And like, boom, boom, boom. And then, um, what were some selling? Tell us yeah. some of the selling points, like that the flat earthers believe. Okay, well, like, what are some it, of the big it things? It started off. I'm gonna try to do this kind of quick. It started yeah. off when, um. That general, I talked about this on a couple of podcasts ago. Of uh, General Bird, I think his name was, went to Antarctica, mm -hmm. and um, after that, he came back. And he's like, "We don't, we don't know." Uh, what did he say? He's like, "The world is different than what we know," and basically speculating that there is um, An Antarctica is like forever, <gasps> and like that there isn't like an end, but there's nothing on the other side of Antarctica. It's not <gasps> like a why are you gasping so much? This are you being are you being real? Yeah, I, <laughs> you're you just mocking me. No, you never said that to me before. <gasps> oh no, wow, that's no. crazy. And I just think yeah. forever because I I I believe that the world is not what we know it to. We don't know anything about the ocean. We don't know anything about any of those places. What was that noise? It's me. Know. Yeah, her mouth. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I think it's I think it's funny that like he pro. It sounds like he just got like told to do a project in Antarctica by himself, and he didn't really want to go, and so he was up there. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, just come back whenever you get it finished. And he's like, okay, yeah, it's it's done. And they're like, okay, so what's the square root? And he's like, it just goes on forever. Yeah. <laughs> he also believes it's just in the square, <laughs> square root. It's, it's just an anchor, they're trying to find the acreage of the, the land. I don't know. Anyways, he came back and he has their, like, reading out of his journal, his entry log or whatever, and basically saying what it comes down to is the whole world is flat. Mm -hmm. And um, they believe that there's a... a it's in the Bible too, where it says the firmament of the earth, uh -huh. and so it's basically like a giant um, glass dome, okay, if you will. What is, quick? What is a firmament? Um, just the called the ozone, I guess, but a like layer. a layer. Yeah, but it's like oh. a layer, but there's n there's not even space outside of it. Is that where Patagonia is at? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I'm not, um, it's coming together. And then that was backed up by he also him and Russia ran this whole thing back in the 40s or maybe early 50s where they called it Project Fishbowl. Okay. And they were shooting nuclear weapons at the atmosphere and basically seeing like 
can we penetrate the firmament? Yeah. Russia, typical. And so they believe that the flat earth is encompassed by Antarctica. It's not at the bottom of the earth. It's okay. like a giant ice wall that is containing all of the ocean. Okay, so floating? Like I, f- I saw this uh What? <laughs> I need a I need a picture. Yeah. Yeah. I saw like it was kind of like a, a bubble and then it went down and then it went up like that, right? Yeah, so it's yeah. like it's it's a ice wall that's holding in all the water in the countries like the US, all that stuff. Like we're in the middle of this flat so earth. It's literally just a gotcha. mound and it yeah. goes under. So we're like a disc. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um We are. <laughs> so yeah, there's just all this stuff and then at one point I didn't believe in gravity. <laughs> What? Because they're one of their arguments is like they said, how can how can I or how can a bug fly? I love that you just add that in there, and then I also didn't believe in gravity for a while. <laughs> well, no, it's it's part of the argument. It's like yeah. how can a bug fly? Yeah, but yet the entire ocean can stay underwater while the Earth is spinning, mm-hmm. and so it's like gravity's not real because if a bug can fly, it's stupid. Yeah, but it had me convinced for a while. Um. Long story short, yeah, all the weird arguments that I was coming across, um, they believe that the sun is only like 2,000 miles in diameter and that's in the firmament, mm-hmm. but it like it spins like a, like a spiral yeah. around the earth. That's, why, that's, how we get, that's how we get the seasons. So it's like when it's out on the outskirts, that's when it's our winter, right? That's so funny. Which I'm like, okay, I can see that. That's a lot to add up. But then this is where... I felt like a fool, <laughs> but I cracked this, it. This is where I cracked it. That's what I'm like. I'm not giving up until I am a hundred percent convinced or not convinced. Yeah. You know? Um, so I'm like, wait a minute. So if Antarctica is on the rim, right. And the mm-hmm. sun does this, um, how is it that some times of the year, the sun is up 24 seven in Antarctica? Because by yeah. that logic, yeah, it's going around the whole Earth yeah. like that. So that was one of your major questions. And so I emailed. <laughs> Who'd you email? One of, I forget his name, but he was like one of the leading guys. In flat like earthers, yeah. Convincing you that the earth is flat. Our leader. And he's like, it's simple. There's two suns. <laughs> I said, uh, okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> the earth that. is not flat. Well, it's, see, see, it's simple, son. But he said it like. We have two suns. <laughs> That's literally how he said it. I'm like, like you're the idiot. <laughs> okay, like, guy. like you're the guy that's not thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay. Uh, I, yeah, there's two sons. Duh. Dummy. <laughs> My whole thing is because we watch that uh, all gas, no brakes thing too, which was really oh, funny to me. Oh, jeez, yeah. But um, I guess what do they have to gain from it's, putting it's, out fake images of the earth being circular? What oh, is the, what is I think the it's control. Their whole thing is like, it's just control. If they can convince it, this, this is their little argument. If the higher power of the earth can convince us that the earth is round and not flat, then they can convince us of anything else. It's, it's kind of similar to L. Ron Hubbard. Of who? The guy who created Scientology. Oh. oh. He created, like he's... Literally, like, there's a documentary about it on HBO, and it's fascinating. This dude was legit, like, he was sick in the mind, mentally, like, and and psychiatrist, like, he'd, like, send letters to psychiatrists saying, hey, I need help, this isn't going right, and he had made up this whole thing to control people, and then it kind of slowly started getting forgotten about, and then it just blew up, and... Man, he's yeah. It was that's literally all it was, and so it just seems like a maybe a yeah. general store version of that. Yeah, <laughs> so just, his whole objective was just like how many people can I convince? Yeah, he. Like, I mean, he so wanted persuasive. control. He was very smart, oh. and he uh, created. Yeah, he created his own religion, and he he was also trying to get rich, and so he was trying to get you know, celebrities. So he, yeah, yeah and the celebrities, and also just getting like that tax. Uh, Oh, uh, 5013C? Yeah, so like, so he didn't have to pay taxes anymore. Like, so <laughs> Her dad's an accountant, <laughs> so. <laughs> and so, um, and then when it happened, it was a huge deal. They were so excited, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. the documentary so, is nuts. Um, I don't believe in Flat Earth. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> man, what a, what a. What you a, always have to say anymore. Yeah. That was a dark time, man. <laughs> so I was questioning everything. <laughs> Like, that was your midlife crisis right there. I guess so, <laughs> you got man. it out early. But, like, I couldn't sleep, and I'm like, I was trying to convince people. I'm like, have you j- just question it. 
And they're like, why? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Why? First of all, why are you in my house? I How said, did you get in here? I said, tell, I said, tell me what gravity is. And they're like, I don't know. It's just, it, it is what it is. Exactly. <laughs> you don't know. This is Cope Corner. And people. they asked me, tell me what gravity is. <laughs> I yeah. don't know, sir. Please put the knife down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it either. And Interstellar is like your favorite movie ever. Yeah. And they and Overrated. in that gravity is a character. Dude. Stop. Andrew. Andrew, you're gonna what cause is your favorite fi- movie? You're going to cause a fight. Extreme Days. Is that I, mean, the I don't even know what movie? that is. Surfing it's it's like a, a Josh's favorite high school movie. Not high school. I'd say elementary. <laughs> I'm older than him. <laughs> is that like the live action movie no, of Rocket Power or something? No, it's like a Christian. Shout out Rufio. It's like a Christian um, extreme sports movie. It's terrible. Perfect. It's, oh. <laughs> yeah. it's nostalgic though. Um, but yeah, so I, yeah. But gravity so can funny. communicate in Interstellar. Mm. Yes. Gravity and time and love, <laughs> love, love is gravity. Oh my gosh, gravity! Hold on, wait. When you hug someone, okay, there's a gravitational force, right? So if e equals mc squared plus mc, oh my gosh, what? I figured out science. Are you a genius? I think I am. <laughs> what? You really figured that out? I figured out <laughs> science. Guys, I, I understand I, it all. I think I understand science. Well, that's why relationships keep you grounded. Mm. Oh. Mm. Grounded. Wow. Electricity. Water. Water. H2O. Lightning. Lightning's attracted to water. And Harry Potter. Boom. <laughs> and we're circling back. Wow. Harry Potter is perfectly rated. Perfectly rated? Yeah. 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 I would say, yeah. because uh, you can't say overrated in any way, but you mm-hmm. also can't say underrated. So, yeah, yeah, I would say it's probably perfectly rated right where it's at. Um, there's a lot of people that do enjoy when I talk about conspiracy theories. So, if you guys want me to talk about a, a conspiracy theory that's on your mind, I'll research it. I probably already know it. What are some other good ones? Oh, there's a lot. I like, there's a Reddit post that I saw. It was um, conspiracies that actually came out to be true. And Ooh. that's a fun one to dive down into. Because you're like, there's ones that you're like, this seems insane. That was actually confirmed. That's not, It's absolutely yeah. bonkers. Well, yeah. what about um, this whole crab dilemma? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Let's mention that real quick. We don't have yeah. much time. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what is it? Okay, let me look at the article up. I'll tell you I what it is. They, they have suspended the king crab season in uh, Alaska. Because over one billion king crabs have gone missing, and how many? One billion. Wrong. One hundred billion. I heard nine. The Alaskan snow crab mystery. Why did eleven billion <gasps> crustaceans suddenly disappear? Eleven billion. That's weird. That sounds like a rapture to me. Or that's like that truly is insane. Like yeah. 11, 11 billion are they're not like oh they're dead or there's like that's they're, they're, they're sick. They're gone. That's who, okay. who manages the season though? The season? Like like God like does, really. who, who puts who puts <laughs> like who is it that's canceling the crabbing season? Oh, there's got to be some type of uh like the wildlife conservation. It's like, like us like America though, right? Like I'm sure that's NATO what we're talking about. Is this well, is it's this? Alaska, so it's yeah. Yeah. Wait, so what's NATO? They're trying to actually establish a border. <laughs> they're not letting ships, like random ships, just exist off the coast. So are they actually protecting our border by canceling? Is it the Russians? Oh my goodness! Are they taking our? Are the Russians taking our crabs? Hey, right back now? off! Hey, Russia! Listen, you can you can mock us, okay? You can steal our fuel. You can do whatever you want, That's, but you leave our crabs alone. They're radioactive. <laughs> the Hawaii the Hawaii episode. That's what happened. We diverted a bomb into oh. the ocean. And now there's been nuclear radiation that's infected all the crabs. Maybe. Hey, Wait, apologies all to the crabs. That's a good point that you're making is that they're not finding like crab corpses. They're just not there. Yeah, it's not that they're sick. I or think, that there's, like, I think there's been, things in the ocean spill. that would terrify every single human and we, we would never step foot in the ocean again. Something that would look. eat 11 billion crabs? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. There's, it's, dude, there's trenches we don't know about. There's stuff that we don't know about. There's animals that exist. There's maybe aliens. 
That yeah. would be the place to be. Whatever it is can't be that sophisticated because they're eating the shells and stuff. That's gross. Shells. shells. <laughs> can't be that sophisticated because they're eating the shells and everything. Eating yep. the shells and the eyeballs and all that. <laughs> it's gross. Sounds pretty dumb to me. <laughs> Oh, well, that's man. a Florida thing, apparently, yeah. that we know of. It's, it's deep frying shrimp with the skin on. It's just, I don't yeah, know. The shell, I, it's, yeah, no. I don't like it. It's, it's weird. disgusting. Is it a skin or is it a shell? Shell. A shell, because they're shellfish, yeah. right? Yeah. Why did I say skin? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> right? You like the shrimp but like skin. A, but, but, but they're peeled, I guess. Not they're, They don't say skinned or anything. Yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Why am I saying skin? <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Strange. Can we please go get shrimp somewhere? <laughs> Be like, can y'all skin them for me? Can you please take the skin off before you bring them out here? Skin's yucky. Oh man! Wow, can you take that the was peels off too, please. <laughs> hey, you know what's underrated is this podcast. Oh, so you guys should go review it, rate it, five stars, and yay! Um, if you listen to this, that's how this podcast gets out to other people. If you rate it and review it, so yeah. please, it really does help us. You don't have yeah. to, you don't have to share it if you don't want to, but please, if you rate it and review it, we'd really, really appreciate also, it. Also, share it with everyone. Hopefully, you know. by the time this comes out, we're gonna have some uh, new Ninjas or Butterflies merch dropping, yes. like this dope camo hat Dang. with a embroidered ninja butterfly thing on it. Uh, CoolCarl.com, go check it out. Or we'll just have it. Um, Ninjas or is gonna be redirected into that as well. So. Oh yeah. Boom. Cool, cool Carl with two L's. Yeah. Either or. Either or. Either yeah. or. It's going to be good. Either or. Either or. You can do whatever you like. Tell You'd you really can. appreciate it. Go to internet.com. <laughs> go open up your web browser. Either or. Okay. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. That was a blast. Very cool. good. Thanks for coming, Lil. Yeah. Fast thanks for forward. having me. Yeah. Appreciate Very it. Very good. Love okay. You. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Mm. And get a room. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's gross. I'm going to talk to HR. Ninjas are butterflies. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful butterflies. Has an empty mind. You look.